Okay, now I, I don't want to say anything bad about my opponent because I like my opponent. Um, but I think she quit chess. So, you know, you can't see her at chess tournament and make fun of her because she doesn't go to chess tournaments anymore. Her name is Rusadan Golitsiani. She was one of the nicest people in chess. She played in several U.S. Women's Championships. I think she won one. And I played her twice in my life. And both games, I could never, ever, 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 ever win. Never. And I won them both. And I, I think she cried after both games. But the other game, she was like plus a thousand. She was in a completely winning endgame, up a lot of material. And I ended up winning. I think she cried more after that one. This one is the most dead drawn position ever. And if Peter's still here, he'll bet me money I didn't win when I get near the end of the game. <laughs> I won unwinnable position. And the other game, I was just dead lost. She just played much better than me the whole game. And I had no hope. And then I won a lost end game. We only played the two times. How old was she? Probably late 20s, I guess. There are no GMs called Norman. Well, there was an IM named Norman Weinstein, and his brother uh, was in jail for murder. He was also an IM, Raymond Weinstein. So at least I had that, you know, that nugget for you. And they were somehow related to Arthur Bisgeyer. He was their uncle or something. He was something. I think he was their uncle. But anyway, they were both IMs. They were brothers, Norman Weinstein. And Raymond Weinstein, his brother, was in, in prison for murder. Oh, I didn't know Norman still played chess. I played Norman Weinstein once. I was five or six. It was a simultaneous exhibition. And I still have the score sheet. And I wrote in descriptive. Boy, did I get crushed. It's Dina Belenkaya. Dina, look, we had this talk last week. Karen and I told you, you can't keep prisoners in your basement in your new place. You can't, you're going to get caught. You can't do that. You got to let those people out and like probably blindfold them and take them somewhere so they don't know where you live. You, you can't, you just can't do that. Yeah, I don't think Golitsiani plays chess anymore. I'm not even sure she lives in the U.S. If I was a betting man, I would say she doesn't. They're well-graded. Oh, treated. I was like, well-graded. Wow, that sounds even worse. Well, if they're well-treated, then that's okay. It's funny, when, when Dina was a girl, she played Dungeons and Dragons, but it was different in St. Petersburg. They had a dungeon in their house where they kept prisoners, and whenever she played chess, she would play the dragon. And she gave up the dragon, but she likes the dungeon idea, so there, there's just nothing we can do. Oh, she does finance in New York City? Cool. Okay, so... If, if, if Dina and or Peter are still here, when I get to the end of the game, they won't believe that I won. It's not believable. Okay, so let's look at the game. I was white. I was white in the other game that we played where I was... Actually, no, I was black against her when I was dead lost. Forgot about that. Okay, so we played a million moves of theory. This is a line... Yeah, no, I, I play Bishop G2 now. And sometimes I play bishop d2, but I don't play a3 anymore. Yeah, this is nothing for white. d6 isn't good. She should play d5. Wow, I played f4? 
Man, I was super confident when I was younger. <laughs> if I think of F4 now, Jesus. Yeah, the engine says everything gives me the advantage except F4, which gives her the advantage. It says knight g4 and I'm virtually lost. It says like my position is just terrible. Knight takes. Man, I was I was really sharp in 2005. I wouldn't even think of that move now. <laughs> Look at me sacking a piece and getting it back later. Still I'm worse. Wow, rip takes c4. Man, damn. It doesn't like that move because of this. It says I'm very slightly better here. That's my specialty, being very slightly better. Now it says it's just equal. Winning this with white is difficult because there's no legal way to win. <laughs> like my king's trapped, everything's defended. It's just a draw. I play for tricks. Knight takes, rook takes b5, but she just defends her pawn. Yeah, that's silly. So, like, I won this position. This position can't be won. And then I don't know why she gave up her knight for the... Why she went into this endgame. We were in time trouble, but there's a 30-second increment. Now she played a move that would make all of you proud. This position... Black played the worst legal move. Rook F6 is tied for first. What's funny is, well, actually, that's not funny. I thought it was stalemate, but it's not. That's right, Thaddeus. Very good. When I asked for the worst legal move, Thaddeus was on the motherfucker. He was like, yeah, call on me. Yeah, she played rookie one, and then I took. Actually, I didn't take. She resigned before I took. Man, I won this position with white. God damn. And it's even tougher to win with a rook on the F file. Because my king can't move. But okay, rook d5 is completely drawing. Man, I won, I won this position in four moves. And you can't legally win this position. There's no way to win. Yay, go Ben. The truth hurts. That screaming you hear is the, the people in Dina's dungeon because she lets them watch the stream too. She treats them well.